Poison Ivy, issue 20, G. Willow Wilson writing, Marcio Takara on the art. Take it away. All right, Connor. How'd you, how, how are you enjoying this year one of Ivy after we got year one of Joker around the same time? <laughs> it's better. It's, it's a lot better. No, 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 no. Let's, let's start with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. But <laughs> just, just the, we talked it's, about it last month with. I feel like it's a little bit inconsequential. Like, I don't yeah. know why we needed a year one. No, Ivy. and. And putting all of the the plant based characters under the tutelage, uh, they, they were all at school Drew. together. Yeah, yeah, a bit, bit much, right? Um, however, I do think this this takes Pam's story, this issue, uh, when when it introduces the gardener, uh, Bella Garten, into her past, and I, I do think that had we not had Alec Hall and all the in his wife and stuff, I feel it would this would have felt bigger, right? Because it shows like the the dynamics and what makes Pam Ivy versus what makes them them. And it's such a small world, but like, yeah. you know, I think yeah. like if it was just Woodrow and Pam before this, mm -hmm. that would have felt fairly natural in the course of this run because Woodrow's mm -hmm. been kind of, you know, He's a long term, you know, yeah. part of this book. So that, that would have been a, a fairly natural part of incorporating that into the mm -hmm. into her past. But yeah. say throwing everyone in for this entire section has been right. like a bit like, yeah, okay, it's it's lost any meaning by the time it gets to this issue. Right. So uh, here it continues Pam's story where she's working for Woodrow and uh, Woodrow's getting like more maniacal, right? And he, you know, she's still sleeping with him and doing all of the, you know, special projects in the shipping containers. And then um, she ends up meeting Bella Garden, who's another student of Woodrow's that he brings in. And uh, there ends up being some some sparks between them, but not necessarily, you know, good ones is because Pam now feels like she's being replaced uh, and not just, you know, as a student, but, you know, in a, almost a physical role. Uh, and she starts to get, you know, almost the seeds of Ivy are starting to come out even more. And yeah. so I, I, I do like that. Well, slow playing this year one. It's, nothing's being rushed. It wasn't just like. Oh, you know, she started working with Woodrow, and suddenly the villain aspect comes out. But there's a lot of pettiness. Ah, did you uh, mean to do a pun there with seeds coming out? I did not. That's just you know. No, I I, I was going to not mention it because I assumed you did. Yeah. I was no. I was going to give you full credit. Nah. No, no, no. no. I, I, I could sense that the 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 mm -hmm. unintentional pun detector was was beeping. There it goes. Yeah. So beeps um, you a lot, though, doesn't it? Was that? I mean every single pun I see. <laughs> uh, he he was raised in the puns, you know. Molded He's by like, it. By the yes. time I saw uh, sincerity, uh, I was already a man. <laughs> so, um, but I but I like that it shows that Ivy is is petty, right? That Pam, there is a, a aspect of her that, um, she wants to do good work, but she also wants to be, you know. The central there's, focus. There's a reason she's a villain, right? Despite yes. everything, like despite right. that she, you know, even present day Pam being mm -hmm. better that she has yeah. some villainous in her. She's methods. she's an ant. Right, we we get like Harley's an anti-hero anymore, and I always feel like Ivy's in that spot as an anti-villain, right? Because she still does things, but it's not necessarily for villainous reasons. Like she has a good cause. It's just yeah, like she wants to save the world. We get that, but right. she definitely is a villain at the same right. time. Uh, right, and so, but we get to see the the difference between her and and Bella Garden in that uh, while while she's working with pheromones, while Pam's working with pheromones, uh, Bella is is working on the hybridization, which we had seen in Tynan's run, right when it introduced the gardener. Yeah, that she's able to, you know, uh, genetically splice animal DNA with the plants. Uh, and she's kind of like a wonderkin and she's everything that Pam wanted to be. And that only leads to the jealousy, which then actually adds the sparks between them. And, uh, they end up making out and starting a small relationship under Woodrow's nose. Uh, and then Bella notices like a weird thing going on with Woodrow's neck. And he's like, Oh, it's nothing. Uh, and you know, clearly we know, cause we know how he becomes a pharaonic man. That it, it is not nothing. Uh, he's experimenting with their experiments. Yes, on himself instead of on, oh, I don't on, know, 
a monkey. Right. And so, and this is what I really like about this, right? So Bella finds out that Pam has been sleeping with Woodrow and she feels very uh, betrayed by that. Because Pam then, assumes that Bella had been. Had, had been at the same time. And then Bella's like, no, just, you know, it's been me and you just as a relationship. But Pam ends up feeling betrayed by Bella's lack of ethics, which I find, you know, this is kind of the root of, of Wilson's run is that, you know, she's ended up, Pam has ended up in this spot where we're recounting her origin because of her lack of ethics. Yet we see from the very beginning that as Pamela Isley, as the, you know, uh, botany student, she is like, you know, telling Bella, you can't just spice animal DNA with plant DNA, you know, like there's, and there's Bella's like, well, maybe you can't. Yeah, I can, you know, and so it definitely, I, I really shows that it, uh, I like that Wilson has taken the, the time. It, it, yeah, to, right. She's had to be pushed into mm -hmm. you know, losing those ethics. It wasn't just right. like, oh, she was a terrible person the whole time. Right, uh, right. And her, it was, her version was it of issue? feeling... The last issue we had the bit where she had to do the robbery in the, in yeah, the lab. that's how it ended. And she was like, oh, this is where Ivy was probably truly born because it was the first right. time she really, like, broke those ethics. Broke those ethics and, you know, for the what she thought was a good cause, yeah. right? Because she can, she can look the other way as long as she feels that the cause is, is for the right. Uh, and, it, and it also shows her jealousy that she thinks, like, well, you know, Bella doesn't have the same ethics because it's not her project, Right. Uh, but, and then Woodrow comes back in and he's starting to show, you know, all of these, you know, the signs that something has gone wrong. And Pam also talks about that's about at the time when her and Bella had started working on the project together is when everyone else had left the school. So it was just Woodrow and them two. Uh, and that's where things really ramp up. I, I the art in this issue, I, it, Takara has been a, you know, steady hand. I like this one in particular because we get a lot of reactions that are count uh, that are contrary to what Pam is saying, right? So like when she's talking about her ethics and Bella's lack of, we get this kind of disgusted look on, on Pam's yeah. face, even as she's talking about like how hers are better, you know? So uh, it's it's how the art and writing really come together. I think this, this arc has been the most it's focused on in terms of the art, like in terms mm -hmm. of facial expressions. Obviously, the, you've yep. been throughout yeah. the book but a lot of the book before this had a lot of psychedelic imagery mm -hmm. that would take the focus instead yep. whereas there's not a lot of that in this arc so it is all focused on on pam and you know and, and her and her relationship with bella and, and woodrow and, yes. and these issues yeah but well and fine, then even there's a chimpan plant to spice things up at the end yeah and that's where woodrow comes back and he you know uh, as he's in this full gross swamp monster you know uh, wooden man looking where he tells them about their, their, uh, where they went wrong. You know, that you basically, you have to try it out on your own bodies. You, you got to commit to it and you've got to have a purpose of why. Yeah. Cause he points out, like, well, what's the point of this chimpan plant? I'm like, if, if it's a weapon, you're not really controlling it. Yeah. If it's for research uh, on what, like, you know, yeah. what's the point? And, and this is where we, I feel this is where the birth of Ivy really comes from is that she's like, well, I'll experiment on myself, you know, because yeah. she's still under his full control. And I, and again, that's another ironic part of this is like Ivy and her pheromones. She's usually the one that's putting people under her spell. But, you know, um, and then in the in the meta sense, it's Wilson also telling the story of that trauma that survives through a person, whether they want it to or not, because we see how, you know, this is the start of of the control that Woodrow had over her, right? That is impacted, you know, through this whole arc of him showing back up and in different ways through the fungus, through, you know, um, because it was in the fungus at that retreat that she had done, right? Where Woodrow starts to manifest again, you know? Um, and and here we see the, where, where that started. And I think that, you know, I don't know if Wilson's writing from a, a not a personal spot, but it feels deeply like I'm trying to find the right word because I don't necessarily think that like, she's writing from from a victim standpoint. But I can no, see. No, but I think there's pretty she's truth in the idea of. I mean, everyone's probably been in a coercive yeah. relationship of some sort. Yeah. Not probably not to this extent, 
No. Like, okay, obviously some people have, but the, the most people probably haven't been in one to this extent. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they, they, they do exist, even, even if it is, you know, as simple as, you know, uh, an employee and their boss. And, and you know, yeah. they might, it might, there's an expectation that, oh, well, maybe you, know, you, you have to do it because they're your boss and, you know, you don't want to lose your job. Even something as simple as that. Right. I think most of, you know, most people have felt something like that. Right. That's, Wilson's really good at getting the empathy going yeah. to for Pam because you, we all know how this ends. We know she becomes Ivy, but it still feels like a tragedy. That we're witnessing, yeah. Uh, but yeah, but just between between all the the clean art on on the human characters, right, of Bella and Pam, when we get to that that uh, chimp hybrid, it, it it is ghastly. You know, it is kind of along the psychedelics. It is. It looks seen. like it's got extra eyes. It's yeah. The the, the teeth are all over the place. Mm-hmm. And it's so suspicious. And then we get to Woodrow and he looks like a nightmare, right? Uh, so, yeah, just this book is still just humming along. Like, it's uh, very consistent through and through. And uh, I was worried about having to do another origin issue, but after this one, right? We have another one after this. And then we get kind of back to the story. Yeah. Uh, I do feel like it is redefining Pam's character a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not like, it's weird because I'm not sure I necessarily love this origin mm-hmm. like you know like tying it so closely to to Woodrow and all these other mm-hmm. characters I, I'm not sure I'm like oh I'm glad this is the new canon continuity mm-hmm. origin now but also as a story in its own right it's fine yeah. if, this, if, if this was like a black label like out of continuity thing I wouldn't mm-hmm. even think twice about it yeah but it's yeah. still pretty good you know as because I, I do like though that the control the Woodrow seal seemingly has over it's like a phantom yeah. You know, so I do like that part. And we're getting to see, you know, how foolish she was because she can look back with her commentary on uh, almost like she's witnessing someone else. So, but yeah, um, and just her and convoluted relationships on top of it. That's just kind of her character, which I like oh, yeah. that Wilson's doing, because in the main part of the story back in, in present day, she's still dealing with Janet from HR and Harley. Right. So to see here, she was dealing with. Woodrow and Bella and where they ended up on top of it, where they're their own, you know, evolved selves as well. Yeah. Um, that's just, yeah. But yeah. So, so what are you rating it? Uh, I'll give it a 7.5. This is another really solid issue. All right. I'm on 